Hello, it's Abdullah Al Buadi. This is a simplified video made by Scientific Committee 219. In this video, we will talk about physiology of detection of head rotation by semicircular canals. The function of the horizontal semicircular canals is to detect angular acceleration of the head, as illustrated in the figure. In this figure, the left and right horizontal canals are shown with their attached ampulla. The ampulla contains the vestibular hair cells which are embedded in the gelatinous mass of the copula. The vestibular hair cells differ from auditory hair cells in that the vestibular hair cells have a large kinocelium and a cluster of stereocilia. Afferent nerve fibers from the hair cells carry vestibular information to the central nerve system. For example, when the head is rotated counterclockwise to the left, the following events occur in the horizontal semicircular canals. First, when the head is rotated to the left, the horizontal semicircular canals and their attached ampulla also rotate to the left. Initially, the capula, which is anchored to the ampulla, moves before the endolymph begins to flow. Thus, the capula is displayed or dragged through the endolymph, causing bending of the cilia on the hair cells. Eventually, as rotation continues, the endolymph begins to move. Second, if the stereocilia are bent toward the kinocilium, the hair cell depolarizes, and there is an increased firing rate in the afferent vestibular nerves. In opposite, if the stereocilia are bent away from the kinocilium, the hair cell hyperpolarizes, and there is a decreased firing rate in the afferent vestibular nerves. Therefore, during the initial leftward rotation of the head, the left horizontal canal is excited, and the right horizontal canal is inhibited. Third, while the head is still rotating to the left, the endolymph eventually catches up with the movement of the head, the ampulla, and the capula. The cilia now return to their original positions, and the hair cells are neither depolarized nor hyperpolarized. Fourth, when the head stops rotating, the events occur in reverse. For a brief period, the endolymph continues to move, pushing the capula and kinocilia in the hair cells in the opposite direction. Thus, if the hair cell was depolarized in the initial rotation, it now will be hyperpolarized with inhibition of afferent nerve output. In contra, if the hair cell was hyperpolarized in the initial rotation, it now will be depolarized with excitation of afferent nerve output. Thus, when the head stops moving left, the left horizontal canal will be inhibited and the right canal will be excited. In summary, rotation of the head to the left stimulates the left semicircular canals and rotation to the right stimulates the right semicircular canals.